Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. So, uh, today, uh, basically is tying up some loose ends, uh, finishing up a, t a tannic, and I uh, got started on another tannic uh, right here. Uh, this one's going to be pretty cool. Uh, this one just needs uh, everything, pretty much. So, uh, this is the raw product here. Uh, but my finger feels a little better, so I could flip these the proper way and uh, show you uh, the action on them a little bit better and explain some things about it. But first up, guys, uh, I'm going to sell a knife real quick. Uh, so, yeah, I got a brand new Hinder XM18. Uh, this is, if I had my choice of Hinders, it would be this one for sure, but I just don't want to keep it right now. Uh, it's brand spanking new. Open it up, lift it open a couple times and put it back. Uh, this is a three and a half inch. Uh, it's got the worker stone wash finish. Brown G10, my favorite. Smooth as hell uh, with a nice slicer grind. Uh, it's nice and sharp, not used at all. Uh, I'm only looking for uh, yeah, it's 6.75, guys. Uh, it's brand spanking new. It's gorgeous. I know they don't go for as much as they did before, but um, I still think they're worth every penny. But 6.75 is uh, lowest I'll go on this. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested, guys, uh, text me or call me tonight uh, when you see the video, uh, or actually just text me. Yeah, just text me tonight. Or if you're someone I know and you know I'm up, you know, give me a ring. Uh, so 675 guys, I mean it's gorgeous, it's a perfect tender right here, absolutely perfect, got the box, got the bag, got the nuts in there, little foam nuts, uh, brand spanking new, so, oh yeah, this is, uh, let me see here, got the uh, S35 and the logo there, so yeah guys, if you're interested, let me know, I'll probably post this up on Instagram after this video, uh, so, here's my Tannic here, and as you can see, uh, let me just, I mean, it's just buttery smooth. And uh, Jim had said that it looked like they weren't smooth to close on the video. Uh, so there you go. Like I said, this one's detents a little weird, but um, it doesn't open unless you flick real hard. But that's just this one in particular only. So this is mine, so I'll say it a billion times. But it's like nothing to flick open. It's sort of like the Browse Silent Soldier, kind of like push it. If you do it like that, it doesn't, you know, open as well, but you just press it down and it just rips out of there. And the bearings are nice and smooth, so, as you can see. And, uh, yeah. So, this one is Jim's, Jim Skelton. Uh, good dude. Uh, really fun to talk to. I've grown to be friends with him. He's just a funny guy. Uh, interesting guy. Um, and, yeah, he got in on the list. Uh... He helped me out a few times, and I wanted him to get something nice, and I wanted him to be up on the list high. Uh, so we got number three here. So this one's got a few little tweaks to it, because you know Jim's got to have his own special thing for everything. So I originally wanted a hollow grind, uh, and I immediately um, screwed that up pretty badly. So that was my first blade dead right there. But luckily, I have a few spares. So, but this one's got the you know same grind. Uh, it's got the nice polished Tonto-ish tip belly. Uh, it's got a polished wedge, which all the wedges will be like this now. Not polished, but the same. The way I did this one was a uh, little, little more even, a little better than the rest of them. All right, not the rest of them, than uh, the first one, this one. All right, not this one, this one. Jesus Christ. So I, I touched up uh, Brian's today, actually. He didn't have a wedge really on his, or much of a tip. So if you guys were wondering about the tip being sharp, like, you know, that was strictly the... Uh, you know, the photography was perfect at the time of day, so, you know, I figured I'd just, you know, take pictures of it while I was looking sexy, but, uh, as you can see, I mean, use the tip here, tip's nice and sharp, so you got no problems there, nice tonto area there, I mean, this one's, I've been beating the shit out of this thing on a, on a 2x4 today, chopping with it, so, I mean, it's still pretty damn sharp, N690 holds his damn good edge, so. Um, I'm confident with that, guys. And this one, you know, no lube, nothing. I uh, got a lot. I mean, breaks in a little bit. You know, I'm going to try to break them as, as I make them. Just flip them around uh, after I'm done in the shop. Just go inside, watch TV, and flip it around just to break the bearings in a bit. I mean, I'm finding that just, just a little bit of, fl of uh, flipping breaks them in, but, you know. But Jim's, yep, Jim's got the polished wedge up here. 
Um, acid wash blade, nice real deep etched uh, logo with uh, no coloration to it. I just like that a lot. Perfect grind on it. This one's perfect. And this guy, he went with the frostbite treatment. You guys may have seen this. Last night I posted a picture on Instagram. They weren't exactly, it wasn't exactly finished. Uh, I redid the pattern and everything on it to make it more uh, the frostbite treatment. Uh, now this one, the, I really like the pivot screw a lot. It's crazy looking. You got the subtle blue there with the sandblast. It's a uh, sculpted, sandblasted, stonewashed, anodized, uh, then blasted again, then lightly rubbed polish on the uh, the tips and peaks of the uh, cracked ice rock natural pattern. Uh, it's nice and blue on the inside. The backspacer, I love the backspacer. It's very skeletonized. Uh, it's like a piece of uh, ice or something. It's a piece of A2 steel heat colored to like a really high like heat. Uh, so it's like a bluish like shiny and uh, blast this as well. And I uh, polished the peaks of it. Jeez, I can't focus for anything. And on this side, got the pot clip. Um, now, the pot clip on this one compared to this one now this one won't be the pot clip you get. It's uh, more like number two uh, you guys saw the other day. Uh, this one's got a beefier clip. Uh, it's just a little bit more on it because I wanted to match the blade shape. And I really do like these beefier clips a lot. I like this spoon clip on like the VCP. Um, it's almost like cartoonish looking. I love it. But uh, Jim, if you don't like it, I can easily shave it down to the normal size. No problem. Won't take me that long at all. Uh, but I mean this clip is nice. This is a hand done clip. I did this one completely by hand. This one I have the machine just bend these small pieces of tie. Then I shape everything out and do the holes and everything by hand. Uh, so the machine just bends it in three spots. It's actually it's pretty cool. So um, this one I did by hand. It's awesome. They act as an over travel because it's so strong. The clip is very very strong. But uh, no issues with getting it in your pocket. So as you can see there's rock pattern on this side as well. Uh, the lock up is insane. I mean usually I don't like an early 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 lockup. I like it to be worn a bit. This is at 0% pretty much but uh, I just barely tapped it open and you can see the action is just insane. I love it. Detents perfect. Rips open nicely. I mean, right now the pivot's real tight, like tighten all the way down. So this is action with it all the way down. You have a little bit of room before you get a little bit of play uh, to just like barely, just give it a little like that. And it's, I mean, it just depends on how you like it. I mean, it's a little bit looser. This one isn't broken in completely yet. Um, now I got to play with it tonight a little bit. The lock is wearing in and everything. It's so early, it's just, uh, it's ridiculous. So, but uh, that won't last very long. Jim will get it, it'll be nice and smooth. But that barely even takes a lot to get that out. It's just, uh, it's just factory fresh. Well, not factory, but you know, just, just finished. Uh, lock's just good, I mean, so it takes a little, little bit more than just like flipping it open one time. But I mean, it's, it's, for me, I'd be happy as hell with it like this even. And it's not even sticky at all. Well, that one was. Yeah, flipping it open normal, it's not even... And I, uh, I made them so pretty much you can do this way, or my preferred method, because my fingers get sore, is through the front, claw it in the front there. Um, basically you stick your fingers between this nice smooth area, there's no hard edges anywhere. It's just perfect guys, I love it. Uh, the backspacer I love on this one. So it's the frostbite treatment number three. 
Uh, it says number three in the inside of the scale. Uh, not the easiest thing to see, but it is there. And uh, I'm trying to, I need to get cases for these and everything, so. For this one, I love the grind. It's just. Polish the spine nice. It's just awesome as hell. And uh, you'll probably see all the flaws and mistakes. There's not a lot of them really. I think it's perfect. Uh, probably in Jim's video, he's got such a great HD camera. So, but uh. You know, Jim said Jim was kind enough to stay up with me through through this this war last night of doing this one. Uh, so this one had some, <laughs> you know, during the build. It's you know this is the first time I'm building frame locks, guys. So I mean, you know, I'm coming across problems like just like with the knife pimping, I would come across problems and have to figure out how to fix them. And now I have like a catalog of problems that happen with pimp jobs, and I know exactly. I have like a book filled with fixes for each one of them, you know what I mean? So now it's like starting over new and finding out what's going on. And a lot of them are stuff I've I've come across with uh, production and custom knives while I was pimping them. And uh, some of them are new from me building them myself. That I'm, I'm building them from, from start to finish. Whereas like I'm getting knives with issues and I'm fixing them. Uh, so now it's like I find the issue as I build it and it's all me and something I did. I'm trying to keep the same routine with everything. Um, but there's some issues here and there, and it's just, uh, I'm figuring out how to fix them. This one uh, had an issue, and it was the stop pin, so I took the stop pin out, put a new one in. I had been uh, bashing it on something, and, uh, you know, the stop pin moved slightly. And uh, because I was, you know, I, I was not bashing it, I sound like an asshole here, but you know what I mean. Uh, I was just manipulating a lot of stuff in here a lot, trying to work on the lock and everything. Um, and it, it moved, maybe I dropped the scale when it was in its raw form or something, but it, it, the stop pin wasn't working for me, so I chucked it, put a new one in there, and voila, fixed, and uh, everything's good now. Centering's good. I mean, you guys, like, I'm good at grinding. I'm really good at grinding, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not the greatest at grinding in the world, but these will be centered. It's just, if the, you know, with all customs, there's, there's grinds that are a hair off here and there, you know what I mean? It's just, just kind of comes with the territory. I could grab, like, ten customs right now and show you. Um, it's just, the knives are perfect, it's just, you know, there's human error that's ever so slight that it's not even funny. And I think a lot of you understand that. A lot of you even like it, including myself. I like to see a, a slight uh, maker error here and there. Um, if the grind is, you know, the, it's uneven right here for, like, one milli nothing like nothing at all like I, I'm just like you know that guy's human you know he makes mistakes and it, it doesn't affect the functionality of the knife whatsoever in any way shape or form so when you have a custom like this that's just what you expect I'm not saying I'm trying to make mistakes on them but you know there's things that aren't absolutely 100% CNC made you know I'm not a CMC machine so the only thing is this and the counter bore inside I mean that's I mean the water jet this scales out and uh made sure they're precision machining counter boring for those ridiculous bearings so but you guys let me know what you think of uh, Jim Skelton's number three and check out Jim Skelton he's got a very entertaining channel he's a good dude uh, he's got a great great outlook on the knife world and great philosophies on uh, on uh, his knives that he has and uh, you know collecting and everything and it's it's fairly interesting um, he's got a terrible voice but you know you gotta get past that guys he doesn't have really a, a, a voice for uh, TV so, I'm joking. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think. That actually looks smaller because it's on an angle. That's funny. And uh, eventually there will be a overall 4-inch small, small one, like a little one. And then there will be one that's 14, 13 inches long yeah, overall. I don't know. So it will be the tug, tough tug, like a tugboat. And then the other one will be the, uh, I don't know. Tough apocalypse, maybe. <laughs> Trying to stray away from the tough things. That, but yeah, guys. So uh, this one, this one is probably gonna be completed tomorrow. Uh, I was lucky enough to get in on uh, going to the range with uh, Brian. Would be done tomorrow, so I'm really excited about that. I haven't been in the, the shooting range uh, in so long. It's been over a year. Uh, 
and uh, I'm really excited to do that. Bright as hell and early, so I mean like 8 a.m. So, but I'm excited to go and uh, try out my Glock. I haven't I haven't tried it out. I've had them in the past, but I haven't shot my new one. So yeah, guys, uh, I wish I could film that, but of course they don't let you. So, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know about the Hinderer. Um, you know, I'm selling it. Not I'm selling it to buy another knife because I just don't like straight up buying knives. So, yeah, six fifth, uh, six seventy five. It's just so perfect. I hate that they used to be like a thousand. Now they're like so much less. But whatever. All right, guys, have a great night. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more of this shit. Uh, it's just gonna get crazier and crazier. Pimp jobs are coming up. Have a good night. Peace.